And checking in on Molson Coors, beverage company shares in focus following a beat on Q3 revenue as net sales grew 4%. The beer maker also reaffirmed its full year outlook as it continues to navigate the higher cost environment and overall global uh, inflation pressures. Uh, decent quarter for Molson Coors. I wouldn't say it was as good as what we heard from AB InBev earlier in the week and then even uh, what we heard from Constellation Brands a couple weeks ago. But I do like the fact that Molson Coors is putting Coors Light, Miller Light, and Coors Banquet in the premium beer category. To me, I enjoy all those beers and they taste very premium in my humble view. I didn't get as deep into this one, but did they say anything about where the consumer tastes might be changing or shifting? Because, I mean, liquors, wines, or wines and spirits, rather, that has been something that I think consumers gravitated towards during the pandemic, and then we saw kind of a little bit of a move away from that and towards some of the new canned cocktails as well here. Yeah, ready to drink. I mean, I that, that's been one of the, the biggest drivers of the whole, of the whole industry. Wait till that uh, new Jack and Coke uh, in a can comes out from Coca-Cola uh, in the first part of next year. That, that could be pretty big. That's innovation in its finest form. It's not already out? Not out. It's a launching a little bit in Mexico, but soon in the U.S. early next I year. I saw a fake one then. Okay. Really?